kick down unit running in defrost. So we've got the refrigerant coming off the top of the compressor, same as before, passing from there, heading up from there into that reversing valve. This time the solenoid is going to be deactivated, so the refrigerant is going to go a different direction. So that hot vapor that we were sending through that plate heat exchanger is now going to change direction, and that hot vapor is going to head down that line there, going the opposite way through the coil. That hot vapor is passing the opposite way through that coil. At the same time, the fan's off, there's no point in running the fan because we haven't got any airflow. Once that coil's finished defrosting, so it's looking at the temperature of the refrigerant going on and off that coil to decide that coil is no longer a block of ice. Refrigerant's passing from there and back into that reversing valve. From there into my liquid receiver, going the opposite way through. So there's refrigerant going through there. And then this is going to act as the expansion device. I've then got a cold refrigerant going through that plate heat exchanger at the back. Again, passing the opposite way through that plate heat exchanger a tiny bit of the energy from the heat from the actual heating circuit passing back through on that return leg and back to the compressor 